What's going on everyone? It's Marcellus back with another video. We gotta go over Miami coin today. Big stuff going on in Miami coin. So yeah, we're definitely gonna go over Miami coin today. But yeah, remember I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. And also leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you guys want me to go over next. We got sticky notes on top of sticky notes full of stuff to go over. So yeah, it's definitely gonna take me some time. But anyways, remind me just for you know time's sake. But anyways, I'm gonna definitely get to your request very soon. And also what will help me out a lot is if you guys check out the link in the description for my PayPal donate. If you guys want to donate to the YouTube channel, definitely send a donation. It can be one dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, anything you want, even a thousand dollars. But yeah, definitely do that if you want. But you don't have to do that if you don't have any money. Go ahead and just hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps me out a lot and I would really appreciate it. So yeah, definitely check out all those other links in the description and let's get straight to this video. So First thing I want to talk about here with Miami coin, we are now at two cents. Look at this, two five. So yes, we were all the way high up here with the five cents. I was going crazy. I was looking at it. I was buying Miami coin left and right. And then, you know, it started to dump. It really does this all the time. So yeah, I know a lot of people kind of lost money in it. You know, you only lose money when you sell. Let's just be completely honest. But you know, not everyone just is a, a day trader or something like that. You know, I'm, I'm a swing trader kind of, but really I'm doing long term now. I used to be a swing trader, day trader, made a bunch of money doing that. But now I'm really on the long term strategy. So this is my long term strategy with Miami coin. I'm really going to wait for it to hit one dollar. I'm not selling any Miami coin. So it hits one dollar. So right now I'm trying to accumulate as much Miami coin as I can. And I just want to kind of show you all something. Like if you put one thousand one thousand dollars into Miami coin, like all right, let me think, let me actually divide. <laughs> Anyways, one thousand dollars into Miami coin at this price right here, that's gonna give you forty thousand Miami coins. At one dollar, that's forty thousand dollars. So I mean, this is a uh, huge potential right here. Very huge potential. Like huge potential like not small potential huge potential and this is not going to be something that just happens in a few months this is something that happens over the time span of like one to two years so this is exactly what i'm looking at with miami coin one to two years we're going to be around um one dollar which will then bring us to 40k once we or if you have a thousand dollars it'll bring you to 40k but yeah remember i'm not a financial advisor and there's none of this financial advice i'm not telling you to dump your money into miami coin i definitely have some like I have huge conviction with Miami coin. Like I really believe in Miami coin. I believe in the city in, of Miami in general. And I live in Florida and I visit there often. So it's not like I don't have any kind of connection to the city, but it's like, if you have a connection to the city, it makes it easier to invest. So I understand it for the people that don't actually live in the city or don't actually live in Florida itself. But anyways, Miami has like some huge stuff going on there. They were trying to make it a huge Bitcoin hub and they're doing a good job at it actually. And they're really developing the whole city of Miami and they're using the 8 million 8.8 .8 million dollars that they raised with miami coin to actually fund the building of the city they're literally building roads driving around miami i see new roads being built and you know with rising sea levels and stuff you know the roads kind of get corroded because you know the rise of sea levels and when we already get floods and stuff like that and you still got water under the ground so you know stuff like that happens so they definitely need the money so that's definitely another good thing with city coins it's helping build the foundation and structure of the city of miami but anyways let's go over this technical analysis here because as you can see with miami coin here with the technical analysis we are heading down here towards our support line so we're heading down to the 0229 support line and that's probably what we're going to end up seeing inside of the next day or two or so so it's going to end up coming down here to the support line. So from here, we could or could not build more min momentum to get back up to our resistance. You know, it just depends what the overall broader crypto market is doing. And if the overall crypto market is doing well, Miami coins doing well. You know, that's how you got to look at it. So anyways, let's go over here to CoinGecko and go ahead and type inside Miami coin so we can see this in here. So Miami coin and um, oh yeah, I put Maya coin, but yeah, Miami coin. There it is. Miami coin right here. And as you can see, down 15% for the day. You know, that does look bad on Miami coin, but Miami coin is still doing good. We're still up 653% from the all time low. So it's still a good investment. Anyways, let's go over to our Miami coin stacks. So let's go over here to stacks and then back up here. Now you can see the addresses here. So total, as you can see, the total stacks balance is over here. All that other good stuff. Here are the, all the mining things that you do. I don't actually mine Miami coin, so I'm not going to act like I do it. So yeah, that's just me. I don't mind it. I, I buy it on OK coin and I just let the money stack. So yeah, I actually have my money stacked on Miami coin with OK coin. So I have like, I have a few thousand Miami coin. I'm not going to tell you the exact amount because I don't want no one to try to find my wallet and then scam me or something like that. But yeah, I do have some Miami coins. I'm trying to get more and more and more Miami coins. I'm going to keep buying more and more because if I put $1,000 in right now, 
that is 40,000 Miami coins, 40,000. Like that's huge right there. So 40K at $1, that's exactly what I'm looking at in the future. So I'm going to be doing this long-term strategy. I didn't, I used to not do long-term strategies, but now I'm going to start doing long-term strategies because I'm seeing people making stupid money with this, like stupid money, literally like so much money is like what? So yeah, I've been seeing huge stuff going on with this. So that's why I'm going to start doing it. I'm going to start doing the long-term holding because whenever you don't do long-term holding, you typically don't win and I want to win. So anyways, let's move on from here. As you can see, 1.3 billion Miami coins now out there circulating. So we're doing a lot right here with the um, mining. Shout out to all the miners there for Miami coin. But uh, I want to move on to this next thing because I don't really mind Miami coin. But anyways, next thing we want to talk about here, building apps. So this is one of the biggest things with Miami coin. This is one of the biggest things. So building apps using Miami coin requires knowledge of clarity, which is a programming language that lets you create smart contracts and it's on stacks. So you can definitely check that out here and you can definitely learn how to create these smart contracts with stacks. So you just go over here and you just learn clarity. They'll actually teach you about it. So you can learn everything you want to know about it. And then you can start developing on Stacks protocol. You can start developing on Miami coin. So that's pretty big. And also San Francisco, San Francisco coin is coming out. So yeah, you definitely want to check that out. And I would say New York coin could be next after San Francisco, but there's so much crypto regulations in New York that I'm not even going to say that. Like there's way too many crypto regulations out there in New York. So anyways, the next thing with Miami coin that we got here is this. So the Denzin co-working Denizen, I think that's how you say co-working thing. So pretty much what Miami coin is doing right now, they have this whole hackathon thing where people come in with their own projects and then the winner gets their project promoted by Miami coin and actually gets pushed to the forefront. So right here is a project created by uh, T. Karam Bambat, whatever his name is, something like that. But anyways, this is the concept that he created, the proof of concept. So Miami enabled or Maya enabled proof of holdo platform shows how city coins users could access nearby co-working spaces using their city coins literally nearby co-working spaces just by using Miami coin this is pretty cool here definitely check out this video done by this fellow youtuber over here youtuber so you can check you can check this out directly on the Miami coin um Twitter so if you follow me on Twitter I'm going to go ahead and retweet this so you can just look at it on my Twitter and I have my link in the description so you can see it so now just go there and then go to this first comment here and then you will see right here what they have for us inside of the future so anyways this is Denizen and you can pretty much get co-working spaces here look you can go over here to the design district and they have these little offices that are open to Miami coin holders and developers anyone can be a developer on Miami coin anyone and if you're a holder in Miami coin you can become a developer just like that. So this is one of the office spaces that they actually have in Miami. All you got to do is have Miami coin, connect your Stacks wallet to it, and then boom, you're in. Now you can just go over there and work on and help develop Miami coin at their workspace. This is huge right here. Like literally, this is huge. Like they literally have a workplace for anyone who is mining, not mining, but anyone who is developing mining with Miami coin. You go over here. And you can go to any of these workspaces and they're free. Well, not really free because you have to have Miami coin, but still they're free because Miami coin's an asset. So all you have to do is own this one asset and then you can go to these places. These They have all these offices all throughout Miami. So this is actually pretty big stuff here. I don't know. Who knows? I might actually try to do this in the future. But first, I'm going to have to learn how to develop on Miami coin because I don't really know all that stuff right now. But anyways, this is pretty big for Miami coin. So shout out to the whole Miami coin team for this. Now... Let's move on to our next thing with Miami Coin. So check out Miami Voice, a Miami Coin app created by Drew Falkman. Let's users suggest ideas and vote on how Miami can spend their Maya Protocol contributions of $8.8 .8 million. So now this is the new app that a Miami Coin holder and miner actually created. So anyone can create these apps for Miami Coin and they'll actually help push you out there and they'll help push your app out there. And if your app is good enough, you can make money off of it so this is actually pretty cool and also just think about it you can get you can literally get advertisements on your apps so miami coin over here as you can see has raised 9.1 million dollars for the city of miami but yeah this is huge because anyone can make apps like this and they're actually doing it so shout out to the people out there doing it this is the team out there doing it with these apps anybody can do it, it doesn't matter who you are all you got to do is learn how to do it and then boom you can get straight with it so anyways this is how it works First, you get a wallet for Stacks in the Stacks browser, and then you buy Miami Coin, and then you log into Miami Voice, and then review and vote.
boom simple as that and they made this app just like that anyone can do this so yeah new stuff big stuff going on with miami coin shout out to miami coin for that but anyways since miami coin launched that 1248 people have been participating in the mining that's actually pretty big right there that's a lot of miners because they've actually mined so many coins out there there's so many miami coins actually circulating out there and you can tell just by going over here then going over to miami coin and then going straight over to the miami coin protocol thing and then you will pretty much look at it from there but anyways you can do so much with miami coin here and also let me back up here let me back up here okay over here we have a new article so we're actually getting more press time with miami coin there's more people talking about it now this they were talking about it when we had seven million dollars so far but now we have 9.1 million dollars so far for the city of miami so this is actually pretty big for miami and the next thing here crypto friendly miami mayor sees the potential for miami coin to support the city without people having to pay taxes so He's going to be like, you know what, people, I'm not going to raise taxes on you for living in Miami. Instead, we're going to create Miami coin and Miami coin is going to generate that revenue for us. This is what every city needs to be doing. This is what a literal democracy looks like because the people vote on Miami coin. The people come together and vote on what happens with Miami coin, what happens with the money, what the money gets spent on. This is true democracy. And the city of Miami, the mayor, Francis Suarez, is actually showing, you know, what it really means to be a democratic nation. And also on top of that, he also mentioned something about him running for president. I would vote for him for president because the things that he's doing is actually very innovative. And he's, he's focusing on lowering taxes for people and then creating stuff like Miami coin to pay for those taxes. Like, come on, like this is literally the future. So I would definitely vote for him. He would be the first Hispanic uh, president I don't think we ever had a Hispanic president. So yeah, he would be the first Hispanic president. That would be pretty big too. So I would definitely like to see that. I would definitely like to see him as the president of the United States. And he's actually talking about running for president. And yes, I am half Puerto Rican. So yes, I am with all my Hispanic Latinos and Latinas out there. But anyways, this is really big for Miami. This is really big for all of us. So I want to move on to the next thing. And we have more press from Miami, or for Miami coin, I should say. So yeah, Miami mayor says Miami coin has generated 8 million and now we're at like 9.1 million. So yeah, we're, we're getting a lot of money here inside Miami coin. But yeah, Miami coin is really taking the plunge into crypto like they said. But yeah, my, Miami coin is definitely taking off. But yeah, remember, I'm not a financial advisor. Now this is financial advice. I'm not telling you to like drop all your money in Miami coin. I'm not telling you to spend your whole life savings there to sell your house for Miami coin or quit your job for it. I'm just saying it has some huge potential for the future because let's just think about it like miami is literally the magic city it's literally where everybody goes like rich people go there to just have vacation and do business i mean poor people go there to live life and feel comfortable so i'm not rich i'm poor i'm definitely spending time in miami because i just love being there it's a place where both rich and people can go there rich and poor people because you got to think about it you can just go to the beach you don't have to spend money to go to the beach i mean you do have to pay for parking let's be completely honest when i was in miami i went to the beach and the parking there you have to pay some money but it's not that bad i mean it's like a dollar fifty per hour to park so it's not it's not that bad to park by the beach so yeah you just pay a dollar fifty per hour park by the beach do whatever you want to do there but yeah it's not that bad but yeah, remember, I'm not a financial advisor. Now, this financial advice, if you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe. It really helps the YouTube channel out immensely for the YouTube algorithm. And also leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you all want me to go over next. And if you really want to support the channel, check out the PayPal donate link inside the description. And you can donate however much you want, $1, $10, $20, $100, $1,000. Whoever wants to donate, you can definitely donate. But you don't have to. You can just hit the like button, subscribe. That also helps me out. So yeah, definitely do that and I'll be back with another video. Peace.